on. So um, over to you, Ez, um, and first off, we will play the video. The global pandemic has affected us all. It has been challenging and distressing. But better days are coming. The COVID-19 vaccine is here. It could help save my life. And could help save your life too. I've had the vaccine to protect myself and others from getting sick. And I'm having the vaccine to protect the community. I'll be taking the vaccine to help save lives. The vaccine is safe and effective. It is free of charge and you will never be asked to pay. The COVID vaccine contains no animal products. Make sure you take it. The more of us who have the vaccine, fewer of us will become seriously ill from the virus. So when it's your turn to have the COVID-19 vaccine, please make sure you take it. It is a very effective way to protect us all from COVID-19. I mean, <laughs> good afternoon, everybody. That video message which you've just seen illustrates so much better than words the partnership we have achieved in Barnet as a result of the covenant we signed in 2014. I believe this provides an excellent example of what we have accomplished whilst the picturing the range of faiths and the people we work alongside in this very diverse borough. The covenant, as excellently outlined by Daniel, has been the most meaningful positive development that the Barnet Mordi Faith Forum has engaged in to ensure we are, we are a, as an organization, providing us with the facility to sit at the strategic table with Barnet Council, its elected members and its officers, and to make our voice heard and listened to. The pandemic has seen to reinforce its reputation, not just to be a support, but also to become a critical friend, working in partnership and dialogue with the council, the voluntary sector and the business partners. This inevitably brought us closer to the action of support for food banks, the vulnerable, the lonely, and we have welcomed the refugees with assistance and hospitality and those affected by mental illness, domestic abuse, bereavement, and end of life care issues. I believe our work as a faith forum has ensured that our faith values have been in the forefront of the response to the pandemic. And it's been our faith, the keeping of our faith, that has enabled us to remain strong and active in supporting our communities in the fervent hope that the world will be a better place when we have all survived these tribulations. But it's to the covenant and what it represents that I believe has enabled us to become that voice that embodies those values. <laughs> 